What's up guys, this is Chronic Fresh HD and welcome to episode 17 of my fifth 13 Road to Gold Around the World series. We start off with opening some bronze packs to pick up some contracts and fitness cards. But guys, before I start talking about what's going to happen, I just want to say, um, ask for your opinion on should I sell the players in the previous squads to get more coins or just leave them. I've ha I asked this question quite a long time ago, but I decided to ask it again because I've got some more support and stuff. So remember to put that in the comments if you've got any suggestions. But as you can see here, we're opening some bronze packs. We've opened two in total, and we have a quick look at our team. As you can see there, we've got um, some players fairly low on fitness, our other striker. We've decided to apply some morale cards, which I haven't actually done um, for in this series at all, and I wanted to see if it actually helped. But I decided to go into the bronze cup. Like I've said, I play some cups for the team. And um, after getting um, annihilated in the divisions, I decided to go and try a... Um, some bronze cups, and we come up against this Australian, decent Australian team. Um, the strikers are actually fairly decent, but in the 30th minute, Kotaro, a lovely, lovely finish there from outside the box with his left foot, and that is a really, really nice goal to make it 1 0. Um, again, he picks up the ball, unluckily, he does eventually lose it. Healy's going to pick that up, pass it into Quigley, who's going to turn out and lovely finish with his left foot into the bottom left hand corner to make it 2-0 in the 36th minute and this game looks like it's going to go in my hand I seem to be doing pretty well but we get a corner in the 38th minute cross that in, Healy's going to get up big uh, Murray, sorry, our centre back is going to get up big and tall and he's going to header that in like I said, this guy seems to be quite a good threat in the air if you get it on his head, he seems to score most of them that is 3-0 um, before half time and he decides to eventually rage quit so that's going to be our first win with this team we then go and have a quick look and see if we can pick up another fitness card for our striker Green because he seemed to be low, um, running quite low on contract um, fitness. Sorry. However, we do not manage to pick it up in the first pack, and neither do we pick it in the second pack. We do pick up this um, left back Australian player who well, I think we decide to put onto the trade pile. As you can see here, we apply the cards back onto the market because trying to sell these players. I found it quite hard to sell that Zuku guy. I don't know why he wasn't selling. Um, he just He's quite a good player, but I just didn't know why he didn't sell. But we go back into the cup to play our second game of this series. And guys, <laughs> I'd just like to apologise. I have a cold, and it's kind of kind of hard to talk and breathe at the same time because I can't breathe through my nose at all. But it took quite a long time to find an opponent. Um, but we do eventually find up one, and guys, I think I've got you four games this episode, so remember to hit that like button, it really, really appreciate it. Uh, we eventually come up against this guy called Spartan FC, I believe, and he's got kind of like a, a mixed team, one of those teams you get from once you've opened a um, bronze pack, but we pass it into Quigley, who's going to cut inside and use his left foot to finesse that into the bottom left-hand corner to make it 1-0 in the 20th minute. Very, very nice goal from him. Again, we get a corner, Denali is going to um, ping that in and I think Murray's going to get up tall again and that is the second goal in a row in from a corner with his head to make it 2-0 in the 24th minute and this looks like it's going to be two wins in um, a concession um, we're going to get Quigley he's going to through ball that into Healy our midfield and that's going to be a lovely lovely finish into the top left hand corner Keep had no chance whatsoever to make it 3-0 in the 33rd minute and this game looks in the bag Quigley's going to through ball that into Green he's going to take it around the keeper Open the, uh, leaving the open net, and that's going to make it 4-0 in the 35th minute. And I, I think this guy eventually turned off his Vex box. He didn't go straight to the poor screen. I think he got um, pretty pissed off with my amazing playing skills, and he eventually does rage quit, and we get the win. So that is two rage quits already in this episode. So we must be doing something pretty um, well with this team. As you can see there, we got 568 coins, which is fairly decent. We've made back one of those bronze packs already. And also some of the players we can sell on to make the coins back. So that's a pretty decent trading um, method as well, guys. I don't think it worked as well in this game as it did in the other FIFAs where you could buy bronze packs and sell them on for more. But we go into the third game of this episode. And like I've said, it takes so long to seem to find an opponent in these bronze cups. I don't know why. It's, I think it's because the uh, bronze players don't seem to want to work as well in this game. But... We do eventually come up against this guy, and I was I was thinking, do I go and? But his weight latency did go and down to a red, so I decided to leave it, even though it took so long to get in the game. And um, we go and search for another opponent, and I think we do eventually come up against this guy. He does have a decent amount of latency. Eventually, I decided to just go and play, 
with him. And I pick up the red and black kit. He's got the Barcelona kit. And we come up against this guy. And his team is a fairly decent team. He's called Ann Summers. And he's got that player called Dennis Ollie, who I seem to never be able to defend against. He just seems to be fairly pacey and a really, really good player. But we start the scoring off with a lovely volley there from Denali. Unlucky, but rebounding off his keeper to Healy to win that in the air to make it 1 0 in the 70th, 17th minute. Sorry. Um, really, really bad. Uh, unlucky, unlucky there. I can't, I can't get my words out today, but unlucky there from our striker to not win the ball. But he's going to cut inside and he's just going to do a little crab in the air, which is fairly frustrating. And Dennis Ollie's going to score that to make it 1 all in the 32nd minute. Again, Quigley's got the pace and through balls it into Healy, who seems to be fairly slow, but he's going to cut inside and the keeper's going to take him out. But for some reason, I, I thought that was going to be a foul, but we do pick it up with Gilbert. Healy's going to get that ball back, a quick 1-2, and he's going to finish that into the bottom left-hand corner, making it 2-1 in the 60th, 66th minute, which looked like we were going to go through this game. He wasn't the strongest of players, and again, we threw ball it into Quigley in the air. One on one with the keeper, and he's going to quickly chip that in over the head. A cheeky chip to make it 3 1 in the 71st minute. And uh, 87th minute, he passed it into Dennis Ollie, who's just going to outpace my players, put it into Aurora, the right wing for him, and he's going to do a, another annoying crab cross like thing. And Williams is going to win that in the air to make it 3 2 in the. Um, 82nd minute I believe the game does finish 3-2 and um, as you can see there we did get a red card of Daravan our left back which is going to prove some problems because we're going to have to go and pick up another left back and he seems to be the only I wouldn't say decent but the highest rated one in that um, league but as you can see, we have a quick look at our team. We've got some quite um, fitness issues, definitely with our striker green, and also fairly quite a few players are now out of contract. As bronze players only start with well, the players you pick up straight from a pack only have seven contracts. We played six games with most of them, so that means we're going to have to have some contract cards. We go and open some more bronze packs because these seems to be working pretty well for us at the moment. We uh, do eventually pick up a fitness card to apply onto Green, our striker, to put him up to 88 chem, uh, fitness. Sorry, I don't know why I keep getting chemistry and fitness mixed up, but we do put a left back in. We put um, Daniels from our Empower League 1 team, I believe, uh, just to fill that spot in. I don't really care about the chemistry that much. I just think Daniels is going to be a better player than Daravan, so why not putting him? We're going to have a quick look for our fourth game of this episode, and... Guess what? It's going to take an absolute age to get into a game, but there just doesn't seem to be players playing it, and it's probably because bronze players just seem to be absolutely um, not terrible, but they just don't seem to be useful. Uh, you can't use them in the seasons because you come up against gold players and you're going to get absolutely annihilated with some teams. they just got pace, they've got strength, and they just seem to be better on the ball. And then um, not many people play the um, bronze uh, bronze cup, sorry, just because you can probably play, you can get more uh, money playing seasons now. Whereas in like the old FIFA's, you could get more money playing like um, the uh, cups if you did win uh, than just playing single matches. But we end up playing against this guy called Twinkle Toes, and his team name is Pace. So. We can only presume this is going to be a fairly facing team. But he decided to not ready up. And um, we do uh, go into another game. And we do find this player who does ready up. He's going to be in the yellow kit. I'm going to be in the purple and thingy kit. Black stripes. And this guy's team is just OP. It's a, um English bronze team. And it's just got so many pacey players. West car, slow. They're all just um, like over 85 pace. And he gets a I get a really really lucky goal there and it deflects off and the keeper's got no chance to make it one all in the 41st minute uh, Weston his left mid he's going to cross that in and that's going to be a um, he, unlucky there for the header I thought it was going to be a clear out but he's going to do some skill there pass it into Pal his left right mid sorry left mid I can't remember what one that was now uh, but he's going to lovely lovely finish there for him to make it 2-1 and uh we put it into Green, who's going to pace down. But as you can see, here, his defenders have just got so much pace. I believe he's got he's playing the 3-5-2 formation. And the defenders he's using have, like, all above 70 pace. So he's got Osborne, the Millwall player. Um, Terrell Forbes, he's got, like, 78 pace. And then Pierce or something, he's got, like, 78 pace or something. But that is going to be a lovely, lovely finish from Powell, his right mid. To make it 3-1, I believe, in the 60, um, 60th minute or something. 
But we just get absolutely dominated in this game. He seems to be a better passer, more pacey player. And he eventually does get a goal, I believe, to make it 4-1 from Thao Pau. Um, D Pau again to make it uh, his hat-trick. So that is 4-1. And we're going to leave this game unlucky. That is an extremely bad shot from my player, Quigley. I just tried to... Um, I knew I was going to lose this game, so I just tried to get some decent goals for you just to try and spice things up again. But as you can see here, look how much pace he's got. He's got no chance, and that's going to be a very, very easy finish for him. To make it 4-1, or no, 5-1, I think. <laughs> but Yeah, 5-1, and in the like 89th minute or something, and we end up going to the 90th minute. And again, he does pick up a goal. West Carl, this guy's a really, really nice player. I was going to get him in my Empower League 1 team, but I didn't. he seems to be fairly expensive. That makes it 6-1, and that is not a good result for me whatsoever, which was fairly frustrating. But guys, it's coming to the end of episode 17. I'd just like to apologise for me having a cold again. I'm not going to be as enthusiastic as I'd be in some other episodes. But guys, uh, we are now knocked out of the cup, and I think next episode I decide to get rid of the team. But guys, if remember if you like this episode, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. This has been Chronic Rush 15. Till next time, adios!